right, so um, Global just posted, of course, on their forum the uh, announcement of the Merlin and Ellie Hawk banner. Now, Merlin's actually a pretty decent unit, and I can see a lot of people are probably gonna want to summon for her. Uh, but of course, you gotta keep in mind all the next stuff coming out. Uh, we're also getting uh, just random missions as well. Not much happening with the uh, with the patch itself. Um, of course, you no. Know, only last week, Global got Roxy, just like how JP did it. Um, for whatever reason, they decided to release Roxy as a solo character, and then a week later, uh, Merlin and Ellie Hawk. Um, but I think you do, you do get one free multi on the banner, and that's about it. But this is a banner I just don't recommend summoning on at all, um, just because of what's ahead of time. Like, Merlin is a good unit. Like, really, just after using her, I haven't actually um, put her on a tier list yet because um, I don't have my computer. Um, and on my computer, it's where, like, the actual tier list is, like, saved. Uh, if I had to uh, make the tier list on the laptop that I'm recording right now, I have to, like, redo the whole thing, uh, put everything exactly where it was. Um, but I'm, I'm, I'm getting my, my computer very soon, so I, I'm waiting for that. Um, also, there's a new festival coming out, so maybe I just, I'll just i just actually wait for him um, to see how good he is and then put him on the tier list as well. But Merlin is really good. She does, like, absurd damage with her card. Like, if you've seen any of the Merlin videos, she hits really hard. And her passive is really good. But we, of course, just got on JP Margaret which after the buff is like the best unit in the game like she's just insane um of course the blue card right the blue card is just absolutely nuts so <clears throat> it's like you either summon for merlin or summoning for you know a festival character but you also gotta keep in mind that we have um got this message from grand cross and there is going to be another Holy War Festival with a, with a different kind of banner as well. But it's coming on the August 12th, which is in three days. So, global players, even before Margaret's release, we'll get to see uh, what this other festival is going to look like. Which is really good, right? Because you can, you can see ahead of time. Maybe, maybe it's um, a unit similar to Margaret. Uh, buffer demons, right? Because Margaret is a buffer for goddesses. Maybe it's gonna be a similar type of thing, buffer demons. And you just pick and choose whichever you prefer. They're so close together that, like, yeah, Margaret comes out, you just have to wait two weeks. And then the other one comes out and you kind of choose uh, which one you prefer. Um, I mean, if, if they were gonna release, you know, these two characters so close together, I thought, I think they might as well have released them together. You know, if they're they're planning on making true Holy War Festival banners, might as well release two like together, so people have a choice, like then and there, like oh, which one do I want to summon on? Um, okay, um, it's it, for for what it seems like it's gonna be a demon, and the name of it, you know, Google translated is Dark Counter Attack. Uh, it might be Estorosin. It, who knows who who this is gonna be? Um, again, I see I see a few people thinking it's Kusak. <laughs> There's no way <laughs> they're making a Kusak festival, right? There's just no way. Not not before, you know. I think I think if if anything, the the one you know unit who would deserve a festival is the original demon. But then they would have to release Kusak first to make sense, right? But, you know. Um, yeah, and th this band is going to be, like, working differently. Um, then they... Where was that? Okay, yeah, this time I gotcha. That is different from the conventional appearance pattern that players are familiar with who appear. So we decided that advanced, advanced guidance is necessary, whatever. So I wonder how this banner is even going to be like. If they change from the uh, 900 pattern 
of um, you know you have to go like all until ni 900 gems to get the guaranteed if they change it to something more more friendly uh not even just free to play friendly just friendly in general um maybe it's gonna be even better to someone than margaret so uh for for merlin i just I just can't really justify summoning for her because of that, because there's two festivals ahead of time. And, you know, for Ellie Hawk, Ellie Hawk sucks. Like, the, the only time she was even remotely decent was in 4v4. You could make so, very weak AoE attacks don't hit you. That That's it. Like, that, that was the only thing she could really do. Other than that, and, and also because you attack lower them, right? Because you use the attack lowering card. Because ju just the passive could like can't do anything. The, these types of um, damage reduction passives just don't really work. And it's it's so specific to, um, you know, it has to be goddess race characters, and then it decreases damage from AOE attacks. It's like you really want to go for all of that hassle, you know? It's just not. It's just not worth it. Uh, using using this uh, Elizabeth, just you know, from my experience playing with her, it's just not, just not worth it. Um, the damage reduction is negligible. So um, it's just not a ban. I'd really recommend summoning for uh, at all. <clears throat> Even though Merlin is pretty good, um, but there's no, no concrete team for her. I would say. Um, even though, you know, she's a fun unit, and I had fun using her, I don't think there's any team that she really shines on, which is a big deal. Honestly, maybe with the new Margaret, she could be good. Um, just because at the... Nah. Especially, I mean, especially now, I do be, I do be seeing, like, a, a decent amount of Margarets, and Margaret cleanses, so the attack ceiling... It's cool and all, but, you know, it's not as crazy as, you know, maybe a week ago when not, you know, a really strong gear that could cleanse, because no, no one cleanses, really, other than, like, Margaret now. That's good. Yeah, that's, like, a, a good, solid unit by themselves. No one else other than Margaret cleanses. So, there was that, right? No one was going to be cleansing your attack seals. But now they are. And like, she's good against Bond, but I don't see Bond. I'll, I'll be honest, I, I I don't see Bond teams. So it's like, you're, you're gonna be preparing yourself to face a team that just isn't out there. I don't know why. No, no, but I, I see all the time Goddess List teams. Goddess List teams are still, you know, the most predominant. And then now Margaret teams and Assault Melee. I don't see Bond teams, it's it's a rarity. It, like, never. I literally, like, haven't seen a Bond team in so long. So, it's... Yeah. But yeah, I don't recommend summoning. That's it. <laughs>